Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another cool pinball repair video for you today. If you haven't been watching, we've been working on this Bride of Pinbot pinball machine for our buddy Mike who brought it by to have us repair it. And uh, we've gotten to the point where we have torn everything down or most of the stuff down off of the playfield. Uh, and I've been fixing up a lot of issues with the paint that the playfield had. It's been touched up before and uh, had some uh, clear coat painted on it with a brush. So we painted some more clear coat on it, sprayed it on, which leveled it out a lot, made it look a lot better. And then we have been touching up the artwork that had been touched up before. So apparently, originally, the playfield had a lot of wear here, here, and here, as well as a little bit in the black areas that we touched up last time. So we are working on fixing that. So if you wonder how people repair this stuff, if someone's a high-end um, repair person, now there's only a few people that I know of that actually do that, they use an airbrush and can make this thing look brand new. But they're so good at it that people don't really send them play fields in this kind of condition. They send them one that's almost perfect and they fix it up. They could certainly fix this, but Usually it costs so much to have it repaired by one of those people that's very, very talented at it that um, people start with a better play field or, you know, they just spend more money on the game that they uh, they start with. So it's kind of hard to get somebody to fix one up that's got this kind of wear on it unless somebody does it as like a hobby or we do it, few people do it. Um, but you don't get as much of the high-end level restoration on it, so... We're doing the best we can, but it's not uh, it's not uh, on the level of a high-end shop. Now, it looks ridiculous right now. It looks really bad. It's going to look much better than this, so don't get, don't get worried. You're going to see it by the end of the video. Hang in there. Hang in there. Trust me. And don't skip ahead, people. Why has everybody been skipping ahead lately? I can see what you're doing. We have all kinds of, of uh, analytics here on YouTube. I can tell what you're doing. Don't do it. <laughs> So, when on the last video, if you didn't see it, we've been working on this area here. So, it had touch-up paint on it. A lot of that came off whenever we cleaned it up because the uh, clear coat didn't adhere very well um, when they brushed it on. So, a lot of the touch-up paint came off. We're back down to kind of the wear that was on it before, and now we're going to touch that up in this video. So, the first thing that I did last time was... Once we cleared it to get kind of a base starting point, I used an acrylic paint pen to redraw in the missing lines on that heart there in the middle, and then here, and there was a line up here that was in the wrong spot, so we drew it back where it's supposed to be, and then touched up the, the black lines on the curves. We're going to end up doing that again at the very end, but the reason I do it like that is because it kind of creates almost like a coloring book. Um that you can then go back and just kind of fill in the lines with. So this is what we're starting with, and we've got the art kind of drawn in how it should be, and now it's as simple as replacing the colors. So if you look closely, there are not a ton of colors on this play field. It looks like there are, because there's all kinds of art and all kinds of stuff going on, but originally they were silk screened, and they, the, the, the less amount of colors you silk screened, the cheaper it was. So you've got obviously this gray. Now the gray looks like it's different colors, but that's just because of the way it's faded and the mylar and things that they used over the years to protect certain parts of the playfield and not protect other parts of the playfield. So what you've got here is at some point there was a big sheet of mylar right in the middle. And so the the light gray areas were the parts that were originally under the mylar. Somebody has removed that, but it's left a line. Now all of this had clear coat painted on it, so that we can't get it any cleaner because it's under all that clear coat. So we got that as clean as we could. It had brush strokes in it that you could see from the paintbrush. Again, this is on a previous video if you go back and watch it. So we sprayed it uh, with clear which evened a lot of that out, but all of this wear is under the original clear coat, so we can't do anything about it. So this gray that you see is the original color. This would have been the same color. 
So that goes up to here. But from here down, it's faded because that was the part that didn't originally have mylar on it. So it's just worn and faded over the years. So you've got a situation where there's a little bit of a mess where the cup, the gray isn't consistent. This part here, the reason it looks so good is because that's a decal that somebody's put on there. So um, to cover up the middle where they had a lot of wear, obviously. And then also all of these little inserts have had stickers put on them to tell you the, what the insert um, text originally said. So what I'm trying to say is this is a play field that had heavy wear and then has had repair done to it several times and we're trying to get it up to where it looks even better and better and better but we're never going to get it to the point where it looks perfect or it looks brand new or anything like that it's just it's had a lot of wear over the years we can certainly make it look a lot better than this though so you've got the gray color that's going to be the hardest because it's not consistent all over the play field so this gray here probably looks the best but if you look up here not only is this the faded gray that's almost a green, but it's been touched up a different color too. So we'll repaint that whole thing. Um, it should actually match that gray. It's the same color as that gray. So that, that, and all of this should all be the same color. So that's going to be the toughest one, getting that to look right. So there is a, a gray that has faded to green in areas. That should be the same color though. But if I was to touch up a place here or something, you wouldn't want it to look like that because it would stand out. So you kind of have to match the faded green. It just, you know, you just got to do the best you can to make it look the best that you can. So we've got the, the light gray and then we have um, a white and a cream. At one time I thought that all of the white area was the same as the cream area, but it's not. If you look on the uh, like on the ship here, and it's been touched up as well, we didn't do any of the stuff that's colored, so that's what we're going to do in this video. This shuttle here, you see these are white, right? And then this is obviously not white. So there's this cream color that's kind of faded, and then this, this white color um, that's different than that. Again, it's probably the same thing. That was underneath Mylar, and this wasn't but we're to the point now where it's so drastically different that we're going to have to paint it a different color. So when we touch up this, we'll be using more of a white. When we touch up this, we'll be using more of a yellow, even though originally they were probably the same color. Okay. So, again, I'm just trying to point out that there's not a bunch of different colors. There's a light gray and then a blue on it, like a light blue, and then there is a dark blue. That's three. Okay. There is a white but that now is three different colors. So that's going to be about six. There is a yellow that's used in several places. Not to be confused with what used to be white, but is now cream. <laughs> so the yellow would be seven. There is an orange. Okay, and it's used in several places. The, the um, Not as much, though. They don't have a bunch of those. And then there is the red. Let me use on some of this. Okay, so if you color match those colors, you have all of the colors that you need. So how do you actually paint it? So again, we clear coated it, which basically gives us something to start with, right? The reason we're doing that is so that we're not just painting bare wood that's worn. Um, if you paint it on actual paint, clear coat, clear paint, um, if you mess up with an acrylic paint, you can just wipe it off. So we drew the lines in that we're missing up there with these acrylic paint pens. If I can get it to, there you go. Um, these work great for that. The reason you want acrylic, you want water-based, right? So if you if you paint on uh, something that you mess it up, you can just wipe it right off and start over again. So that's why we're using acrylic. So to make the colors, I have bought all of these, and again, I do this on machines all the time, so I've got these from before, but I bought all these different colors of paint. Some of them may match right out of the box if we get really lucky, but we'll probably have to mix each one of them a little bit. So I'll mix them a little bit, and we'll go over that here in a minute. And then once you get one of the colors that you need, again, there's only six or seven 
right? Once you get one of the colors that you need, you paint the part, like if we're doing red, we paint, we f fix up whatever we need to. That doesn't even need it, but, you know, we fix this, and then we fix the little boxes that we need to, and you just paint the where, anywhere that there's red, because it's all the same color. And then you're done with all of the reds, and then you move on to another color. So that's what we're going to do. So that is our goal today. I'm going to wait on the light blue, which is this one. I mean, uh, it's kind of a medium blue. We've got a dark. Um, this gray is kind of like a light blue, and then this kind of medium blue. I'm going to wait on it till we do the light blue, because there is a some text over here that's missing. So we kind of got our work cut out for us, people. But we should be able to make this look a lot worse. So I'll give you a good starting point. This is what it looks like when we're starting. So maybe we'll do the... Hmm... I'm just looking, trying to see what would be the best to start with. Let's do this yellow. That'd be the easiest to get out of the way. A little bit of it over here, too. Let's do that yellow first, because it's not used in many of the places. There's only two or three spots that we need that. So let's do that one first, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I have several different yellows. We have saffron, saffron yellow. We have another saffron yellow. Boy, that's a good one there. <laughs> we have cadmium yellow. We have yellow light. We have bright yellow, and we have lemon yellow. But let me tell you, I think there's nothing like this bright yellow. <laughs> um, it's maybe a little bit too bright for that exact yellow, but since we're only painting those two things, and it's just a small area. I'm just going to repaint the whole area with that. So you may, if you're really good, be able to tell that that yellow is not the same color as that yellow. But since it's so far away, your eye's not going to be able to tell. We may run into a problem here. Or maybe it's a little bit too bright for that. Because i got to touch that up a little bit. But we'll see how it looks. So I'm going to just take a little brush. Let me find a good one here. Just a little cheap brush. And just very carefully repaint that area. So I'll set up the tripod so you can see it and you can hear some good music while we do it.
uh, colors like yellow are super thin. They don't have much pigment in them at all. White is thicker than yellow somehow. I don't even know how that is. But. So uh, we're going to let it dry for probably five, ten minutes, and then I'll come back and I'll put another coat on and another coat on and another coat on. It may take four or five coats to get it to build up thick enough where it looks right. Okay, folks, we got the yellow in. What do you think? A lot better. And over there, the top of the thing, up under the rocket. And that little block right there. And that was about it for the yellow. And then I inked the black lines in, back around the yellow circles up there, or half moons, whatever, half circles. Uh, pretty good, though, no, I like it. Okay, so next up, uh, I'm trying to think, what should we do next? Hmm. I think maybe I'll do the white. Or this creamy white here. So same thing. We just find a white that's close. If it's not, mix it a little bit. Whenever you're mixing white, by the way, you just need any kind of, like if you're trying to make it a little more yellow or whatever, just a little bit of yellow is going to make it a lot more yellow. So you got to be really careful about that. Don't put too much in it to tint it. Um, so yeah, let's do some white next. Now the white is also going to be, if you look, this was the original white. It's also the lines in between all of the moons. So that's going to get rid of a lot of the trouble. Also that line, that line, the white around the heart. Um, here, here. So we got a lot of white to do. Okay, folks, so this is kind of where we're at. Got that looking a lot better, I think. The white went in pretty good. You can see just uh, uh, making the heart come back made it look a lot better. Still got some blue and stuff we got to put in there, but that really helped it out. We're getting there. The thump, the thump, the thump, thump. And, you know, this guy, Python, was pretty crazy. 
so really what we're drawing back in is the body of the Bride of Pinbot. So her face is up there, this is her chest, this is her heart, and all of this stuff. That's kind of what it's supposed to look like. Kind of. So this is kind of her hips. And <laughs> he just did crazy stuff like that all the time. So her tatas are almost back. And remember they have the, the little flasher domes here and all of that. So that's getting there. I like it. Looks great so far. It looks a lot better than it did, I think, right? So next up, we kind of need to... I've got a little bit of orange to touch up there. Uh, we need to do some red on the shuttle. Um, we've got the light blue and the dark blue. And then there is a dark blue. Dark, dark blue. So... And then the white, too. So, I put the white in. Again, we were talking about it earlier. It's faded different colors depending where you are on the playfield. So, the stuff under the mylar is still white. But the stuff outside the mylar has faded to yellow or whatever. So, I kind of did a happy medium on those since we were able to repaint the whole thing. Um, I was trying to get it kind of close to there so that that heart looked about the same as those, and it came out pretty good. Whenever you put the clear on it, it makes it yellow, a little more yellow, so it'll blend it in a little bit better once we repaint it with clear again. Um, but we need to fix the tops of the shuttle. This whole part of the shuttle needs to be redone, so like the white boosters or whatever they are need to be redone, and then the main um, tank needs to be redone too. So that's coming up. I'm still working on this too. So that's coming up. But um, because of that, I actually need two colors of white. One that's a little faded, and then one that's still pretty white. So uh, this is still white. This still needs to be redone. And then this over here was faded, but since this isn't, and I have to repaint that whole thing, I'm just going to go ahead and make a match more of that. So it's going to have more of a fresh white. This is more of a fresh white. Um, so that's coming up. So I, I guess, uh, I guess maybe I could go ahead and do that. So I'll, uh, I'll see if I can paint the boosters in a little better and, uh, paint that back in a little better. And then we can do the, uh, later we'll be able to re-put the, uh, the text on there. It looks like it says pin botics, pin botics. Kinematics, mechanics, electronics, pinbotics. And then over here it said pleasure, joy, happiness. I can't even tell what that must have said. Ecstasy, ecstasy. Interest, emotion, passion, love. So the only ones that are missing are ecstasy and pinbiotics, but they're painted in with kind of that medium blue that we have to do at some point. I think it looks a lot better already. Check it out. Now after I did the white on all those lines, I went back and re-inked it again with the black to kind of get our lines back. It's getting there. Okay, folks, we're still working through it. I uh, straightened out the side boosters a little bit. The main booster, I painted the top white first, and then now I'm putting the red back on. I need another coat or two to kind of uh, match the color and then it's got some highlights and stuff that need to go on it. That should make it look a heck of a lot better. Um, so we're getting there. I'm going to keep at it, 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 keep at it. Keep at it.
Okay, folks, I was lucky enough to get a pretty good match on the gray, so I messed with it a little bit, and I painted a little bit, and repainted it, and painted a little bit more, a little bit more, until I got it pretty close. So basically, I took some, uh, it, there's no white, really, it's all kind of a cream color, you know, so I took our light buttermilk we were talking about, <laughs> and I mixed in a little bit of baby blue, but if you look, it's too blue. Right? So once I had that concoction, I made it more green. Because when you hold the blue up to it, you, you just got to get a good eye at this. And I'm not the best. There's obviously plenty wrong with this, what I did, right? But if you hold up the blue to it, if you look at this and then that, the difference is that is more gr green. You just have to get where you can kind of see that. And so I added some green, which pushed it that way, and made it more of a, pretty close to it, but the problem was it was too bright. It was too vivid. So if it's too vivid, the way you can fix that is if you add the color on a color wheel that's opposite, it will knock it down a little bit. And I call it that, knocking it down. So, ended up with like a green, a light green concoction that was too vivid. And so I threw a little bit of red in it, just a tiny bit. And each time you do that, it kind of makes it less vibrant, less vibrant. You're basically moving it towards like a muddy, ugly color. And so since it's gray anyway, you kind of want that. So I put a little, just a drop of red in it, and it made it a little more muted. So this is what we ended up with. And it matches it pretty good. And then it's just a matter of going in and painting it. Now, again, I'm obviously not an artist, but I think it's pretty good. I'm happy with it. I think the customer will be happy with it. I still have to do two colors of blue and a dark gray, and then we're done. And the shuttle, I think, turned out pretty good. What do you think? Not bad. Um, so I have to do the, that kind of lighter blue, which maybe that baby blue is a little closer to that. Here, I'll help you. You can help me figure it out. Now, basically, what I did was I tried to match the gray right around through here because there was a piece of mylar here, so it hasn't really faded. And so, since you were going to see this moving into it, I wanted it to be the same color as that. So the blue that we're going to choose to match, you know, there's different colors, it's, but it originally was all like this. So we're going to try to match that because I have to, mat I have to paint that and that back in. And so you'll be up, you'll see those right next to these, so they kind of need to be about the same color. So this one is nothing like that, right? It's just the wrong shade. So we won't say it's that one. This one, same thing, wrong shade. Way too dark, but it might be a good match for that one. Also way too dark. Nothing like it. Nothing like it. Mmm, getting closer. Closer. Ah, it's getting there. <laughs> Obviously nothing like it. Too vibrant. Okay, okay. Oh, definitely, definitely much closer, but a little bit too green. By the way, I'm looking at the actual paint. I'm not looking at the label. That one's close. You could probably mess with that one a little bit and get it, get it similar. And then I have Bahama Blue. So see, you can see if you took this one and you put a little bit of the baby blue in it, it might kind of get in between and look about right. But this one's kind of green looking, you know. And then this is Hawaii. That's similar. We're getting there. Um, and then I have desert turquoise. A little bit too green. So it's just, you kind of find a happy medium and then you mix it up a little bit. So let me... Uh, let me mix some and see if I can get it anywhere near there. All right, folks, this is what we ended up with. 
Now we just need to put it all back together. What do you think? I think it came out a lot better. Now I could nitpick it, and you could too. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than it did, I think. I got my wording. My, uh, my, the text is the worst part, but, uh, all in all, I mean, I could, I could sit here and tell you this isn't right, this isn't right, this isn't right, this isn't right, but I think it looks a lot better than it did, and once we get all the stuff back on it, it covers a lot of it, too, you know, so I think it's a heck of a lot better than it was, so I put a little more clear on it, and, um, next step would be to wax it, and then start building everything back. But we'll have to do that on another video because this one is going really long. So leave your comments below. Let us know what you think so far. We'll film putting it all back together too so you can see how it ends up uh, in the end. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it for you. Uh, make sure to check out our website, lionsarcade.com. It shows all of our pictures of, uh, of all of the games that we have available for sale. And finally, last but not least, don't forget our brother's channel, my brother Donnie, literally our brother, <laughs> literally my brother Donnie. If you like watching us work on these old pinball machines, uh, you would probably like watching us work on old buildings. He and I have bought a couple old buildings in a small town near here that we are fixing up and uh, in the downtown area. And uh, we're... Uh, trying to help revitalize downtown. Now, do you want me to get close to it? Here we go. Uh, after I cleared it, the paint looks more green than it did before. So you can tell where I touched it up if you know it's been touched up. But I didn't touch this up. So, I mean... Uh, considering what we started with, I really like it. You could also, depending on, it's just, it comes down to time. How much time do you want to spend on it? You can make little water slide decals, too, with the text on it. And put them in. But then again, this is a big decal, too, you know, so. I like it. I think it came out pretty good, and I had fun doing it. So we'll, uh, we'll start building it back up, and then uh, we'll get it back to where we can play it. But as we build it back up, we're going to go real slow, because... The customer wants us to do a bunch of mods and do things different and all that, so it's it's going to end up uh, looking very unique whenever we're done. <laughs> so uh, make sure to tune in for that. So we'll see you on the next video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up for taking the trouble to film it. And that's what we ended up with. That's the pertinent area, at least. So we'll see you next time.